Feeding the Ghosts, is a novel written by Fred Diaguiar and published in 1999. The book is set in Guyana during the time of the Jonestown Massacre in 1978, where over 900 people died in a mass murder-suicide under the leadership of Jim Jones. The novel explores the impact of this tragic event on a fictional family living in the region. The title, Feeding the Ghosts, may suggest themes related to memory, loss, and the aftermath of a traumatic event. The novel likely delves into the psychological and emotional consequences for the characters involved and explores how they cope with the haunting memories and ghosts of the past. Since the novel is a work of fiction, the phrase, feeding the ghosts, in this context could be a metaphorical expression, and its meaning would be intricately tied to the narrative and themes explored by the author. To gain a deeper understanding, one would need to read the book and explore the context within the storyline. Feeding the Ghosts, is a novel written by Fred Diaguiar and published in 1999. The book is set in Guyana during the time of the Jonestown Massacre in 1978, where over 900 people died in a mass murder-suicide under the leadership of Jim Jones. The novel explores the impact of this tragic event on a fictional family living in the region. The title, Feeding the Ghosts, may suggest themes related to memory, loss, and the aftermath of a traumatic event. The novel likely delves into the psychological and emotional consequences for the characters involved and explores how they cope with the haunting memories and ghosts of the past. Since the novel is a work of fiction, the phrase, feeding the ghosts, in this context could be a metaphorical expression, and its meaning would be intricately tied to the narrative and themes explored by the author. To gain a deeper understanding, one would need to read the book and explore the context within the storyline. Fred Diaguiar is a British Guyanese poet and novelist born on February 2, 1960, in London. He grew up in Guyana, South America, and later moved back to England. Diaguiar's works often explore themes related to identity, migration, and historical events, and he has received acclaim for his contributions to literature. Feeding the Ghosts is one of Diaguiar's notable works. The novel is set in the context of the Jonestown Massacre, a tragic event that occurred in 1978 when the members of the People's Temple, led by Jim Jones, died in a mass murder-suicide in Guyana. Diaguiar uses this historical backdrop to tell a fictional story that revolves around a family caught up in the events leading to and following the massacre. The novel delves into the psychological and emotional aftermath of such a traumatic event, exploring how individuals cope with loss, memory, and the haunting specters of the past. The title, Feeding the Ghosts, suggests a connection to spiritual or psychological aspects, reflecting the impact of the Jonestown Massacre on the characters in the story. Diaguiar's writing often combines historical events with elements of magical realism and poetic language, creating a rich and immersive reading experience. His works, including, Feeding the Ghosts, contribute to the exploration of the complexities of human experience and the legacies of historical events. Feeding the Ghosts by Fred Diaguiar is a novel set against the backdrop of the Jonestown Massacre in 1978, where over 900 people died in a mass murder-suicide in Guyana. The story revolves around a fictional family caught up in the tragic events. The title suggests themes of memory, loss, and the lingering impact of a traumatic event. The narrative explores the psychological and emotional aftermath of the Jonestown Massacre, examining how the characters cope with the haunting memories and ghosts of the past. As the family grapples with the repercussions of the tragedy, the novel delves into the complexities of human experience and the enduring legacies of historical events. Diaguiar's storytelling combines historical elements with poetic language and often incorporates magical realism, creating a unique and immersive exploration of the character's lives in the aftermath of a devastating event. The novel provides a nuanced perspective on the human response to tragedy and the ways in which individuals navigate the intricate terrain of memory and loss. Ezra. Ezra could be a central character in the story, a member of the fictional family deeply affected by the Jonestown Massacre. As a protagonist, Ezra might be portrayed as someone struggling with the traumatic aftermath and haunted by the memories of the tragedy. Sylvia. Sylvia could be another family member, perhaps a sister or cousin to Ezra. Her character might embody resilience and strength as she tries to support and guide the family through the challenges they face. Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson could be a neighbor or a community figure who plays a significant role in the character's lives. He might serve as a source of wisdom or assistance during the difficult times. Reverend Jameson. Reverend Jameson could be a fictionalized version of Jim Jones, the leader of the People's Temple responsible for the Jonestown Massacre. 
This character might be depicted in the novel to explore the influence and manipulation that led to the tragic events. Dr. Rodriguez. Drive. Rodriguez could be a therapist or counselor brought into the narrative to help the characters navigate the psychological impact of the trauma they've experienced. These are just hypothetical examples, and the actual characters and their roles in Feeding the Ghosts may differ. Reading the novel will provide a more accurate and nuanced understanding of the characters and their development within the context of the story. Feeding the Ghosts by Fred Diaguiar explores various themes, reflecting the complexity of the human experience and the aftermath of the Jonestown Massacre. Some prominent themes in the novel may include Trauma and Memory The novel delves into the psychological and emotional aftermath of the Jonestown Massacre, exploring how the characters grapple with the trauma and haunting memories associated with the tragic event. The theme of memory is likely central, as characters navigate their past and its impact on their present lives. Loss and Grief Given the nature of the historical event at the core of the narrative, the theme of loss is likely pervasive. Characters may be dealing with the loss of loved ones, innocence, and a sense of security. The novel may explore how individuals and communities cope with grief and the process of healing. Identity and belonging. The characters, particularly if they are part of a family or community affected by the Jonestown Massacre, may grapple with questions of identity and belonging. The traumatic event may force them to reevaluate their sense of self and their place in the world. Cultural and Historical Context Diaguiar may use the novel to explore the cultural and historical context of Guyana during the late 1970s, providing insight into the social and political landscape that influenced the events surrounding Jonestown. Resilience and Survival The theme of resilience may be present as characters strive to rebuild their lives in the aftermath of tragedy. The novel might highlight the strength of the human spirit and the ways in which individuals find hope and meaning in the face of adversity. Religious and Social Manipulation Given the historical background of the Jonestown Massacre, the novel may explore themes related to religious and social manipulation. Characters may confront questions about faith, trust, and the abuse of power in the context of organized religion. Family Dynamics if the novel focuses on a family affected by the events, it could delve into family dynamics, examining how relationships are tested and reshaped in the aftermath of a collective trauma. These themes contribute to the depth and complexity of Feeding the Ghosts, offering readers a thought-provoking exploration of the human condition in the wake of a devastating historical event. Narrative Structure Examine the novel's structure, including the use of flashbacks, multiple perspectives, or any other narrative techniques. Consider how the structure contributes to the overall storytelling and understanding of the themes. Character Development Analyze the characters' arcs, motivations, and relationships. Look at how they evolve throughout the story and whether their development serves a particular purpose in conveying the novel's themes. Themes and Motifs Delve into the themes identified earlier, exploring how they are presented and developed throughout the narrative. Identify recurring motifs, symbols, or imagery that contribute to the novel's overall meaning. Setting and atmosphere. Consider how the novel utilizes its setting, especially the historical and cultural context of Guyana in the late 1970s. Analyze how the atmosphere created by the setting contributes to the tone of the story. Symbolism and imagery. Identify any symbolic elements or recurring images in the novel. Consider how these symbols contribute to the overall meaning and interpretation of the narrative. Language and style. Examine Diaguiar's use of language, including his writing style, tone, and choice of words. Consider how these elements contribute to the novel's atmosphere and emotional impact. Social and political commentary. Given the historical context of the Jonestown Massacre, analyze how the novel addresses social and political themes. Consider whether it offers any commentary on power dynamics, religious manipulation, or broader societal issues. Critical reception. If available, review critical analyses and reviews of the novel. Consider different perspectives and interpretations, taking note of how literary critics have responded to the book. Remember, literary analysis is subjective, and interpretations can vary. A comprehensive analysis often involves a careful examination of these elements to gain a deeper understanding of the novel's themes, characters, and the author's artistic choices. Here's an exploration of the narrative technique, plot style, 